Hi, welcome to Hikate's Crossing. Just a really quick catch-up video as I haven't been on for a while. What I wanted to say was that um, there have been some changes um, to me personally and you may notice that I've got some new teeth and so that's one reason why I haven't been on for a little while is because I've been getting used to this. You might notice that I sound a bit funny, there might be a bit of whistling as I speak, it's a little bit difficult at this time, so I have not been doing any of my up-to-date videos, so I just want to sort of touch base um, why I haven't been online, I've really been recovering, you might see my face is still feeling a bit sort of swollen, my gums are still a bit sore, I'm sort of living on a bit of painkillers at the moment as well, but um, and with my personal health as well, in regards to the virus that's sort of going through and I'm having to take vitamin um, B3 and some other bits and pieces just to try and get myself back up to the sense of energy that I would normally have. I really have been quite lethargic, um, not really feeling like do, doing much with the cards um, overall even though I have been posting a little bit on Instagram and I get hot and cold flushes which is a bit difficult but I've been watching a lot of um, TV series so I've sort of been watching The Fringe, um, The 100, been watching um, Medium, In Between and some other different types of TV series as well so just being really relaxing and taking care of me has been really really important so I just really wanted to sort of touch base with why I haven't been online much, um, what's actually been going on, so it all feels a bit different in my mouth, um, in my face at the moment, still a bit swollen but and still feels funny talking um, and not being able to wear my, my um, denture all the time because I'm still trying to let the um, gums actually heal as well, you don't want to keep them, you don't want to give them a chance to sort of get some air and get them a chance to actually heal, which is quite important. Um, I have been reading very little. I have been working with the Māori Oracle and learning um, the meanings of the cards. And you can do this with any Oracle deck and you'll see from um, last week's videos as I was sort of going through, before I had my teeth done, um, going through and learning all the keywords for some of the cards. I'm still going through that. That'll take some time. I haven't quite completely um, learnt the whole deck yet, but hopefully soon will do. Um, still waiting for um, one, another, um, the Crossroads Oracle deck to arrive from playing cards. So I'm slowly sort of getting there and getting all my decks, the ones that I've um, I'll make playing cards. I have um, got one set arriving for a, for a customer as well, a playing card set arriving for the customer. Um, so yeah, there's lots sort of going on in the background, but very, very quietly making sure I take care of me, which has been quite important in this process. Um, having to sort of only sort of been eating soup, just sort of standing on a little bit of porridge, which is quite good, and um, just lots of um, herbal teas and turmeric um, latte or turmeric um, chai lattes which are quite you know which is quite a big thing of my drinks that I take so I can enjoy but also um, just noticing that my um, throat and I always feel like you know it's a little bit hard when you've got a new um, denture in your mouth and trying to get used to that and um, I think it'll make a big difference to me personally but it is going to take some time to get used to. Anyway, I just want to sort of touch base with what's actually going on. And you can hear my speaking is not clear, so I hope that you can understand me clearly. But um, there is a bit of a whistle still in my speech, and it will take a little while to get used to. So I'm really not doing a lot of videos um, at this time. Anyway, take care, and um, let's see what the cards, what, what I've learned so far, let's see what message comes through, T 
today. So let's have a look. Oops, there it is. It's all about preparation. It's all about preparing. Preparing for where you are um, moving towards what's really important for you at this moment. It's all about preparation. So think about the way that you prepare your um, with what you need. I'm going to read a little bit about what the um, what this card actually means. I'll just grab the book and let's have a look at what this means today. Okay, so let's have a look. It says uh, about preparing and lazy people go hungry in winter. This is also known as the Rirori and it heralds R I R O I R O and it heralds the spring, announcing that it is time to prepare the ground and plant the crops. Or more precisely, it is the sound of the nemesis of the Horere that heralds the spring. When you hear the distinctive four note call of the Pipifararo, the, the shining cuckoo, you know that the Horere is about to foster be a foster parent but it is so organized in its nest making that when the pepipararo arrives to leave its egg in the horeri's nest the horeri has already raised its children a good harvest is born of careful preparation and without action at the right time the best harvest is not possible and so it is with many things so it's all about how you prepare to move ahead in your um, journey or the grey warbler this is called the grey warbler this bird okay so that's today's card for you to think about about preparing what do you need to prepare for what lies ahead for you so there we are take care and blessed be